breaking the wall of clean energy by plastic waste. Qualified in the KAUST lab. Nouf Al-Jabri, King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, Saudi Arabia. Hi. By show of hands, please, how many of you are using plastic products? Everyone. We are using them a lot. They make our life much easier and comfortable. That's why we're spending about 8% of our global petroleum resources to make them. But what happens after we use them? They become a plastic waste. And globally, less than 10% of this waste can be recycled. So what happens to the rest? More than 50% of the global plastic waste simply dumped in several ocean patches, like the Pacific Patch, which is in the size of Texas State. And once the plastic reach there, they will not stay doing nothing. They will be inserted in your food chain, and soon or sooner such fish can be in your lunch or even dinner. There are practices to convert this waste into energy, especially here in Europe, but they are not very effective yet, due to the use. Due to the use of high temperature, which contribute to the large carbon dioxide and other hazards production, and ultimately will contribute to the global warming. But I can fix this. For the last two years, I have been working to design a catalyst that catalyst simply by mix it with the wasted plastic and cook it in this reactor at very low temperature, where carbon dioxide and other bad gases have no chance to be formed. And after two hours, I get a liquid yield with a 100% conversion, in a meaning that all of the wasted plastics has been converted into liquid yield. And this fuel is in the light diesel and gasoline range that can be used in your vehicles as well as other applications. For the proof of concept, I have brought with me the product. This is the fuel. It's not a theory anymore. This is the real deal. And we are in the stage to scale up the process. Thank you. Questions? Comments? Any questions? Yes, here in the front. So, so what is the magic with the process? The catalyst itself, because now we are doing this at very low temperature, so gases have no chance to be formed. And still we are getting 100% conversion into liquid yield, so no coke and no gases. Other questions? Yes, here in the front, two questions. How does it cost one liter of this sort of fuel? How much? This is very cheap. Uh, ultimately, the catalyst to make it, uh, you need about, uh, to make one ton, we need less than $2,000. So it's a cheaper process. And even though the, the, the synthesis process is a cheap, and it's very easy to make it. Final question. Have you run any tests with real engines already? Um, with real engines, no. We are in the process for that. Because that's why I have this reactor. So we want now to scale up. And while scaling up, we will absolutely do the, the test. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.